them. I met her when we at the testing place when we went and got tested, and then uh, then not the next day, but the day after that is when we shot. So the test come take uh, 24 hours to come back. So we went and got tested, test came back. The next day we shot, and that was the only encounter like, I ever had with her. Did she want to make the movie, or did you want to make it, or was it like a mutual thing? Uh, I have no idea how she was approached or what what happened or whatever. I got a call from the company that uh, that, that you know made it, and they were like, hey. You want to do this movie with this girl? And I was like, looked her up, and I was like, okay, seems, seems like a regular scene to me. Let's, you know, it was just kind of approached like a regular day in the regular day in the office. Um, what happened was the company called me up, and they were like, hey, we want you to do this. And I was like, I'm not the right person for this because, you know, I'm like, this is what I do for a living. It's not going to look like it's an amateur tape or whatever. And uh, and then sure enough, what happened is somebody, I picked her up from her hotel room and drove her to set because since she doesn't, you know, do adult films for a living, I, you know, I figured it would like help her get a little more comfortable before, you know, having sex with a complete right. stranger. So I was trying to like, you know, be nice and get to know her and stuff. And uh, so I guess someone took a picture of us leaving her hotel room. And so TMZ called me in the morning the next day and they were like, hey, are you guys dating? I said, no. And they said, what are you doing? I said, shooting a porno. And, and uh, then that's kind of where this whole thing went all crazy, and which I told the company that hired that you know that was that owns it. I told them uh, first. I was like, this is exactly what's going to happen, and then sure enough, that's exactly what happened. So you what know happens. that she's making like a, close to like a million or one point five million off of it. I have been requested by the company that oh, to not divulge any information regarding that. I think I don't. But like, are you making anything off of it, or? I <laughs> I do not want to alter anybody's plan or anything like that, or like like press scheme or whatever. And I'm not involved yeah. in that. That's none of my business. I don't. It's I don't. Yeah. Do you like regret it all? Thank like, you so much. No, no. no. It's, I thought it was a really good movie, and I think that it's. I think she did a great job, and it was a great movie, and it's going to be a really good. Do you think of anything differently of her now, or? Well, I didn't know her before. And oh, like since like the day on set. Well, yeah. No, not really. I mean, she. I mean, she's selling the tape and all that. She never owned the tape. Well, she's gonna get money for it. But yeah, but whatever. I don't need to be involved in that. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I mean, the. Uh, That's what I mean. Like, if you feel any different, differently towards. No, I mean, she was a girl that shot a porno. I mean, that's. That's, I think that's cool. If a girl wants to do porn, then that's that's awesome. If that's her choice and she wants to do it, and it's something that she is interested in exploring when you know expressing her sexuality in a certain way, then you know, and whether her motivations be to you know excel her in you know, to a different level of fame, or whether it be to you know make money, or whether it be to really just express herself sexually, whatever her motivations may be, that's up to her, and that's not me to you know, not a place for me to speak on why she decided to make a make a porn. But than saying anything in there, it's just going to make the situation worse, and if that's the marketing scheme and the marketing campaign that they want to do, then that's fine. I'm not involved, and it's, I don't, I, it really, as horrible as it is to say, I just don't care.